is Laurel. How are you doing? Hey, um, I just wanted to sit down and uh, show you uh, my plan for August, what I'm doing in my bullet journal, and also just to go back and show you what I did and didn't get done in July. Um, July was a really busy month and I, I thought rather than scrambling to finish everything, I'd just show you what I got done because this is reality, right? We sometimes get things done and we sometimes don't. So, um, let's see here. Right here, I just wanted to show you that I didn't track any habits in July. Uh, it just was too busy. There was too much going on and I was busy doing things with my family and so uh, you're not going to see anything on this. So that was that. And then, um, oh, there we go. With my gratitude log I and my doodle a day, I am going to go and fill those in. And I did work on some of it, but I didn't quite get done. To get my Just mood meter finished, I really liked this format, but I still think I need to see which day of the week I'm on. And um, I need to look at this again and, and figure out if I'm going to adapt this to change any but I still like the linear line so I'll show you what I'm doing in a few pages over for this month but I do like this linear gauge of how um, my moods are swinging during the month but I, I just need a different format and then let's see I've showed you this I think I showed you this um, spread last last month so I'm gonna go ahead uh, I am gonna go back probably later and doodle here but I haven't done that yet um, here is my log for, I think I showed this in another video, so I'm just going to go to this one. Uh, this one um, was another one from the last week in, or last couple weeks in July. Here's what my monthly logs look like, my weekly logs. They are fairly similar to each other, just um, a little bit of difference in the color and a few other little things. Um, I'll come back to this page in just a minute. Now here's my... Um, monthly overview for August right here. I still don't have everything quite filled in, but this is this is what it's looking like. I chose to do a couple little suns and this down here. These are supposed to be like little life preservers on this border here, but I don't know. <laughs> they kind of just look like little flowers or something, but I'm rolling with it, so it's good. I haven't put in a habit tracker here because I just, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that at least not in that format. I do think I want to track some stuff. I just, I don't know if if this one is serving me very well. I just don't seem to to use it much or I forget to track to fill it in or I've just got to figure out what I'm doing. So anyways, hopefully I'll be able to show you that more, more about that when I figure out what I'm doing. So for now, it's just going to go ahead and be blank until I decide what I'm doing. And then here was last week's spread the first week of August, the very last day of July, I kind of went back to doing the little rectangular spots. I just, for some reason, this month is just working up a little bit, be uh, working out a little bit better, so I kind of went back to that and uh, just did a little bit of uh, border doodles that I have on my Pinterest board, which um, I'll, s I'll show you, um, I'll link you to my bullet journal inspiration board if you want to see that because that's where I got the idea for these borrowed them from other people and then okay here's my August mood tracker I still have some spaces that I'm gonna add some things in you can see like here I'd like to put a quote and I don't know what I'm doing here yet but you know I'll be adding some more stuff so another thing I added on I found another pin for my Pinterest board someone else's idea to um, use the little ice cream scoops as you know to track the moods for each day. So I've got a number in each ice cream scoop. I've got my key over here that shows um, what each color represents. And these are the same, these are the same color codes, I, the same colors I've been using for the last two months. And those are from the coloring section of the color palette in uh, this app here, in the Morfolio Journal app. So there's, there's that. And then I am, I'm doing a little better. I've still got a couple days that I need to fill in. This is today's. I'm still doing the doodle a day prompts from the Petite Planner, the Oodles of Doodles August. And you can find her on Instagram. And I think it's, yeah, it's at the Petite Planner right there. And I will link that for you if you can't read this, um, either down below or on my blog. Um, use more lettering from the, from my Pinterest board. I, 
other people's ideas. I've pinned these uh, and I've, I'm copying these and practicing these letters. Um, and then here we are on the current week's spread. So I'm still choosing to keep these kind of simple. Um, I just, I like this one because all the spaces are filled and there's not a lot of area for me to doodle in. So I'm really liking this setup so far for this week and we're sticking with that. So there's that one. And then, um, and what I thought I would do is I would just come back and I'd, I'd let you guys watch me fill in the rest of my July memories because I try to do that at the end of one month and the beginning of the other. So um, I'll just turn on some music and you guys can watch.
All right, guys, we're near the end of the video. I just wanted to say if you've watched the whole video, thank you for sticking with me through to the end. In a minute here, I'm just going to show you um, just some photos of the, the spreads that I did and that the first one I did of the month of August, you know, when I have that blank space where there's um, usually a tracker, if you have a suggestion for what to put on that page, I'd be open to it. So you can drop me a line below or send me an email. Um, I do thank you for stopping by today. If you um, feel so inclined, it would be great if you would subscribe, hit that like button, and also um, to hit that notification bell to, so you know when I um, publish a new video. All right, guys, thanks so much for spending part of your day here, and we'll talk to you later. Okay, thanks, bye.